Hi everyone, Eileen from the Lavinia DT here with another video tutorial for you. Today I'm featuring the very beautiful Dragonfly Keepers Fairy. Thanks for joining me and I hope that you have fun. Right, no stamp inside, but you can see that I've got a metal stencil. This is the Ponsettia stencil, and the image was designed by Tracy Dutton, who owns Lavinia Stamps. So I've placed my stencil down into the middle of my cream cardstock, which is multifarious cardstock, a 14 centimetres by 14 centimetres square. And I'm trying to line up the main Ponsettia image into around about the middle of the card. So around about there, I think we'll do it. And I'm using a magnetic sheet to grip that stencil in place. And a few pieces of stencil tape. I bet you wonder where I'd gone then. <laughs> I was thinking of something else. <laughs> One of the neighbours had walked by and I've never seen a dog like that before. So yeah, um, this is Sweet Poppy Stencil Stencil Tape. Uh, I just want to protect the cardstock from any stray ink that's underneath and also need to mask off these smaller Ponsettia flowers because don't need those today. Like so. Right, a couple of Lavinia Stamps brushes and a few archival inks in the Distress Colours. Starting off with fossilised amber. And I'm very lightly, very lightly. This ink pad isn't very wet, but I like to put on my ink in layers over these metal stencils, otherwise it leaks underneath. So not too wet with the ink pad. Take off any surplus ink that you need to. And just apply in laser, layers, lazy. Uh, yes, I am lazy. Just apply in layers a bit at a time. Okay. When you're happy with the depth of colour you've got, I'm going to move on now to Mermaid Lagoon and the blue brush. This pad is, is a lot uh, drier than the um, yellow one. So it's going to take a little while to build up the layers, I think. I don't want to cover the yellow totally, but I do want to bring in some green tones. So I'm mixing the blue with the yellow as well. Fossilized amber. And now just deepen down those blue a little more not too dark because I'm going to apply another stencil over the top and I want that to shine through on its own as well I wanted to say I'm here too otherwise there's no point in using it is that so that will do for that picked raspberries next so staying with archival inks and I'm now looking for my pink brush, and this is from Lavinia again. Leaving that stencil in place, I'm going to pop on this stencil called Divine. It's new from Lavinia Stamps. It was released last week, I believe. Absolutely gorgeous. 
So I'm going to put some pink ink through the stencil, not all over, fading out over to the right, but deepening it on the left. Just having a look. Yes, that's good. That'll do. Clear the decks, take the tape off and the stencil. And there we go. Now I have my image. I wash my stencil in warm water. Don't use your fingers. I use a nail brush to clean that. But it's okay for the moment. Next. The next thing I've got to do is to put down, or rather stamp, my beautiful Dragonfly Keepers Fairy. So into my stamp press. Stamp is really clean. And then I'll position her so she is going over towards the middle. Like so. I might need to swing her around a bit more. Like that. I think that will do. Yes, that will do. Slightly different position, the Ponsettia on this card to the other one. It doesn't really make any difference. But um, it's still obviously going to work. And down. And then inking up Dragonfly Keepers with Versifying Clear Nocturne. Make sure she's well covered. Gentle tapping. Make sure that you don't um, put too much ink on so that it goes around the edges of the image. I think she's covered well there. So let's try that. Over we go. And firmly down. I'm using one of these... Um, pressure tools. I haven't got a clue what it's called, but um, it works really well. It saves my hands because I'm getting older and so they're, they're a bit stiff now and again. Let's have a look. Beautiful. Absolutely tip-top image. A little bit missing from around her head. Ink, but I can put that in with Polychromous pencil. You can use a paintbrush and a bit of ink from your ink pad if you wish. It, she's just not quite opaque enough in that area, but uh, this pencil will bring that and correct that. So that looks good. Got a mark there. Get rid of that as well. That's good. So she looks she looks lovely against that flower, doesn't she? Right, next. Oh yes, now words. Um, these are absolutely stunning fonts. Just love this font. And these are just a collection of words and they are sort of celebrating spring. So, and what are they called? Well, you'll be not be surprised to know they are called words of spring. Nice one. So, <laughs> oh, looking forward to today. I've got a whole day of crafting and I've got the pickle in me a little bit. I mean, you might have gathered that. Just ignore me. I'll go away in a minute. Now, ink on the fingers. Yes. Gentle tapping. 
But I want to be able to read these words, but I really don't want them to be too much in the foreground. So I'm going to take off the first generation of the ink onto my copy paper. See, no, lovely font. And then coming down just under the lamp, making sure it's straight, the stamp. Just going to pop them in there so they will be behind. Yeah, you could just about read what they're saying. That's fine. Even if you can't and you just add a bit of texture, that's good. Um, they're going to be behind this beautiful little hair from this set called Mini Hair Set. And you get three mini hairs in this. So cute. Absolutely so sweet. And I've got a block here. First Fine Claire Nocturne. Gentle tapping again. Make sure the image is well covered. Just going to remove the surplus ink from around the stamp. Should be okay. And then down here. So the lamp is just going to illuminate the top of the hair's head. <laughs> That's the plan anyway. Let the ink soak in. Down, up. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Polychroma's pencil again. Just to fill in. Gap, that's good. And just trying to, I didn't really need to remove that sheet of copy paper. I just needed to think because I can't remember what's next. Uh, oh, yes, colouring in the lamp and also giving that little hair something to stand on. I mean, um, my fairy doesn't need anything to stand on because she's sort of floating. That's it. She's flying. Got a mark there. She won't be flying if that keeps in the way. So a couple of pencils here and also I need a gold pen. So this is a grey pencil and I'm just going to put a slight amount of colour under the hair so that he's grounded or she's grounded. I like using crayons for this because you can blend the colours in to soften them and also remove any that you've strayed out too far with. So that looks quite good. Still got a mark there. You may not be able to see it, but I can. And it's winding me up. Okay. Next, it's to apply some colour to this lamp. And I have some yellow here. Just going to pop that in. It's all it needs, you know, nothing too much. Just as well. <laughs> My colouring in skills leave a lot to be desired. Okay. And... Um, and now I've got this gold sparkle pen. You'll find these on the Lavinia Stamps website. Uniball, Signio Uniball, sparkling gold. And I'm just going to outline these beautiful leaves of the Ponsettia. I'm not sure how much you can see of the sparkle, but it does make quite a big difference as it pops out. The design image. Easy to follow the lines as well. Mm-hmm. 
put some on her hand. I don't want that. So I've just rubbed that off with my finger. That came away quite easily, that stray bit of gold. Okay, so that's all of the leaves. I don't think I've missed one. As the leaves outlined, I'm going to bring the camera down so that you can see a little better. Or take it out, whatever. You see the gold sparkle there? Look, that looks good, doesn't it? Hmm, pleased with that. Back we go. And finally, I'm going to use some white enamel accents to highlight some of these um, dots on the poncettia in the middle of the flower. So just to hold this in an upright position, don't shake this, they, it doesn't like being shaken about. And very gently squeeze. I don't want the dots to be too big. I mean, if you've got very tiny beads and you don't want to do this or you haven't got any accents, then just put tiny beads there or a bit of glitter maybe. Okay. Finally, I have a Sharpie. Clean hands, well, they will be when I've wiped them over my jeans. And um, down, down. Be brave. And that outlines that. And I'm just going to check with my card. Oh, and this one here, this is my second layer. Like so. So pop that down there. So this is the original card, and I believe I've mounted um, the uh, the larger layer topper onto a card blank. It was about um, 18, in, 18 centimetres by 18 centimetres. So is that just about an 8 by 8 card? I think it might be just about under that. And then I've got two layers here, the, the original topper and then another layer. So that's the other layer. And then the card topper that I've just, I won't stick them down because it's all boring and uh, I think you probably know how to glue. <laughs> so that's it. Now I really love doing that. It was fun. It was easy to do. And I think that it's quite attractive. So enjoy. And I'll be back. Oh, let me just get my display board. And I'll be back soon with another Lavinia Stamps video tutorial from me to you. Don't forget to post what you make on the um, Lavinia for you uh, Facebook page. Oh, I had to think for a moment. Yeah, Lavinia for you Facebook page or loving all things Lavinia, or on my group as well, or or even, you know, on your own profile page and tag me so I can come and have a look. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye for now. Take care.